Welcome back to the channel. And today, we're gonna work on a light and in the garage. Let's do this. Okay, so I just finished the first stage of it. Uh, we built the bench. I built this thing super steady. I mean, it doesn't move nothing. It is reinforced, son. Um, it cost me about a hundred bucks to build. And then I also had to measure it out because we're going to build another one going this way. Um, and then I still have to do something with all the computer cases and all the gear and everything else I got. Um, underneath of it, I built it with uh, steel brackets them steel brackets for 10 bucks a piece but you kind of get the idea and then what we'll have we'll have all of our materials underneath it like here but today what i would like to do is finish it you can see i have a support a support and then i need to build a support bracket and then a support bracket but above me um there's not good lighting right here in this area um there's just there's not good lighting there's good lighting over there because i built this light over here and it works incredibly well and I have so much stuff to go through it's just ridiculous yes quick and easy yep all right let's screw it in all right got that screwed in let's see if we are perfectly liable Yes, we are. All right, so this is my idea. I got this very nice piece of ply board. I think it's um, MDF, um, but it's a little bit on the higher end side. But anyway, what I got is I have these integrated LED lights that I got off of Amazon. And at the end of them on each side are these little holes. See, so that way you can j uh, daisy chain them together. So my idea is I'm going to lay it out and then I'm going to cut out this foil, glue the foil to the board and then put the lights over the foil. And then what we're going to do is we're going to chain them all up or wire them all up this way or however I'm going to wire them up and we'll wire them up. We'll drill the holes in it. So that way we can run the wire in and out and through to hide it, to make it look cleaner. But uh, this is the basic layout of it that I have. And I can run power to it any which way I wish. Um, so yeah, I think I'll go ahead and get started on this project.
Okay, so we got the base attached. I ran around it with duct tape and hopefully that will hold this to the frame. Uh, next thing we need to do is put, no, the next thing I need to do is flip it over and drill the holes, drill the holes uh, through the foil so that way I can pass the wires through. So that's what we'll do now. Okay. All right, so I got them all secured. They're all nice and tight. They won't go nowhere. And now I got to run the wire. That's the next thing. Okay, so I got the light basically done. This is how we're going to run it. Um, I forgot to drill that hole and I didn't want to do it again because I'd have to cut the hole out and all I would do is destroy the aluminum foil and the styrofoam so i just folded it up real nice it still looks nice and clean uh what i was going to do is i was going to attach these to the back of it and then hang it that way uh it's either that or make a base and then screw it into the base into the wood uh which i don't know i'm going to consult and see which one's a better idea either this or the other idea but I'll bake that up here in just a second, so we'll do that in a minute. Okay. So I got it hung up. I got it all wired in. Uh, let's give it a test. Oh yeah. Nice and bright. Oh man, if you guys like this, leave me a like. I appreciate y'all. This was awesome. What a great idea of mine. All right, nice and dark. Boom, lot of light, yes. I mean, it really lights this area, especially with that. When I turn the garage lights on, it really makes it bright. Man, this is great. What an awesome idea of mine. Very cool. All right. I like it. Very cool. That's it, guys. Make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, I appreciate you guys, and I'll see y'all next time.